The King of Fighters 14 is yet another satisfying entry in the long-running KOF series. The latest installment ditches the intricate sprites found in previous games in favor of 3D characters and backgrounds, though battles still take place on a 2D plane. This change is bound to turn off those who might favor the older visual style. However, KOF 14's core fighting mechanics live up to the series' legacy, offering a new system that expands upon those from its predecessor while sticking close to its 3-on-3 format. KOF 14 is an engrossing fighter that exceeds the initial impressions of its bland presentation, offering an experience well worth your time, whether you're a hardcore fan of the series or not. Keep rocking! Player 2 wins! KOF 14 pits you against teams of three fighters in a series of one-on-one -on -one battles. When one character is defeated, the match resets, as the next character in line is brought in to continue the fight. Returning players will notice the difference in movement speed from past games right away. The game seemingly slows down the energetic action of KOF 13, but this doesn't diminish the exciting nature of fights. Battles remain tense and exhilarating, especially once you get a feel for the pace of combat and combo timing. With a cast of 50 characters, the game offers plenty of different playstyles that are each distinct from another in their movesets. While it's uplifting to see such a large cast composed of both favorites and newcomers, it's unfortunate that the new 3D character models, while serviceable, do little to bring their personalities to life. They're a far cry from the dynamic 2D sprites from the series' past, showcasing only a faint glimmer of what made seeing these characters so memorable and endearing. Despite the less than stellar visuals, KOF 14's new fighting system is its most striking quality. It streamlines mechanics we've seen in the past while introducing expansive techniques and options for combos. The result is a fighting system that's easier to understand and more fulfilling to engage with. There are three major mechanics to manage, Max Mode, Super Advanced, Climax Cancels, and Rush. Max Mode is a state you trigger that grants you the ability to perform more powerful versions of your character's special moves. These prove useful in turning the tide of battle, since these beefed up moves can be linked with other moves to create even more powerful combos. Then there's the multiple ways of cancelling moves into supers, which are essential for executing destructive combos. When done properly, cancelling can be an effective means of beating opponents during a tough squeeze. Cancelling out one attack and beginning another more powerful one allows you to turn a single move into a custom combo, and with three ways to cancel moves in KOF 14, this opens up a wealth of opportunities for players of all skill levels to deliver a series of devastating attacks. Lastly, Rush is a unique combo that you can perform by repeatedly pressing Light Punch. The attack is suited for beginners looking for a way to strike back at their opponent. This may raise red flags for advanced players, however, this weakly powered attack is balanced accordingly, requiring you to be right next to an opponent to perform. These new mechanics help make KOF 14's combo-focused fighting system more straightforward, and as a result, it's the most inviting entry in the series thus far. Though that doesn't necessarily downplay the finesse and strategic planning during a fight, you're still required to understand the fundamentals of execution and positioning if you hope to succeed. Thankfully, the path to understanding the intricacies of KOF 14 is a welcoming one, as there's a bunch of in-game tutorials available to get you up to speed on the series' established mechanics. There's also a trial mode that educates you on combos you can perform with each character, providing you with a general idea of what attacks and special moves each character can link together. Once you've outfitted yourself with the basic knowledge to fight, there are plenty of modes to test your skills in. Like past games, there's a story mode that allows you to fight against 10 stages worth of CPU opponents. But if you're expecting anything similar to the recent story modes from other fighters, you're going to be disappointed. The narrative is vague and nearly non-existent. If you're looking to compete against other players online, the good news is that servers are smooth and stable thus far, lagging only when facing a player with a poor connection and high ping. With plenty of opportunities available online or off, KOF 14 is a well-executed addition to the revered series. If you remain steadfast in parsing through the multiple layers of its mechanics, you'll be rewarded with one of the most accessible and satisfying entries in the series to date. Oh, I didn't see you. <laughs>